What is it? Folks! Welcome back to Magnus's Loot Crate. I am your host, as always, Magnus Deacon. Now, folks, today we are taking a look at Dr. Wu's DW-E02 Big Surge and DW-E03 Intelligence Officer. Folks, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of spoil it a little bit right now. These guys are tiny. So tiny, in fact, that I had to do an extra turntable with two of my other figures that I'll show you during the up close and personal because I thought you guys might get a kick out of it. But folks, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. <laughs> So folks, here is the Dr. Wu Big Surge and Monitor Officer on the turntable in their clamshell. Now folks, this is just, this is what you get exactly right here. There's not a whole lot to the clamshell. It's just there to hold the bots in place pretty much. Like I say, there's not a whole lot to it. I definitely like the way they're packaged though. They look good in it. When you pull them out of the box, you just, they're just, there they are. They're very nice and I like the packaging. But since there's not a whole lot to say about the packaging, we're just going to go ahead and cut this short, take them out of that clamshell, and stick them on the turntable. Take a look at those bot modes. Well, let's see if I can learn your language. So folks, here we have the Dr. Wu Big Surge and Monitor Officer on the turntable in their bot modes. Now folks, these two look really nice as far as I'm concerned. I really like how small they are. It doesn't lend to posability. That's going to suffer, but I'm going to be a little lenient in that just out of the fact that for as small as they are, they do have a pretty nice amount of posability. Just in the fact that they, as, you know, like I said, as small as they are, they're pretty posable. But folks, I'm more interested in how these two look. I definitely like the way they look. I've got a special turntable, as a matter of fact, coming up after the up close and personal that you'll get to see what I'm talking about with how small these dudes are. But for right now, folks, let's go ahead, take these two off the turntable, stick them on the scale, see how much they weigh, and then we'll run right into that up close and personal. So folks, now that we've seen Dr. Wu's big surge and intelligence officer on the turntable in their bot modes, it's time to get a little more up close and personal. Starting with, we have the destruction manuals. I'm going to be totally honest with you, I think this one's really the only one you need because big surge our little beachcomber pretty much transforms like the original toy from G1 for those of you old enough to remember that you stick his arms to his side flip his legs over boom he's done that's it that's that's just all there is to it we also have the trading cards front and back now one thing about these trading cards is they're a little flimsy. Can't say that thrills me very much. I like the harder cards that have sort of the credit card feel to them. But folks, here we have Mr. Big Surge himself. As you can see on his legs here, I've already done my little bit of sticker voodoo but I'm going to tell you folks I don't think I have an Autobot logo small enough to go on his chest I'm going to be totally honest about that I don't think I've got one that small 
And there, folks, this one. Now, I do have some very tiny Decepticon logos, if you will. As you can see, I've already done a little bit of sticker voodoo with Mr. Soundwave here, but uh, that's about as small as my stickers get. And I had to specialty order to some really tiny ones because, I mean, just, just that, just, wow. It is very, very difficult to get, to get good, small, small stickers. Even for my legend scale figures up on the top shelf up there, it's, some of them it's really hard to find a Decepticon or Autobot logo that's small enough to fit where they're supposed to go. Now, folks, I told you at the beginning of this that I'd been mentioning stuff like this before, and I, today I'm going to prove it. So let me kind of shift to the side over here. There we go. Now, folks, there is exactly what I was talking about. That is Generations Metroplex. For those of you wondering, I've had him for a couple of years. He's not new. I didn't just buy it. And I've seen a couple of people talking about how frightening his price tag is. This is a display model I bought off of a Canadian comic book shop. But as you can see, I've got Big Surge standing on his shoulder. I've got, Op I've got Prime Commander and Intelligence Officer standing down by his feet. That is to give you an idea of the scale of these little tiny boys in comparison to the Titan class from Hasbro. So folks, this 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 makes them worth getting. I mean, I showed you them when I showed you their Dr. Wu's Galvatron. I showed you how small they were in comparison to the uh, Zero One Studio cell. But just so you'd know, this is how well they go with the Titan class from Hasbro. So folks, here is the turntable you came to see, I'm pretty sure. Some of you probably didn't know you needed it, but now that you're seeing it, you probably understand. Folks, this is the Dr. Wu Big Surge Monitor Officer and the Prime Commander on the turntable with my Generations Metroplex. Now folks, that is a sight to behold right there. I have to admit, Metroplex himself is a little big. He kind of got outside the line, so to speak, if you want to say it that way. That's a big boy, and I had to get a super wide angle that got outside the lines. That's why I cut the video down just a little bit. But folks, that is definitely, so, that is the best reason I can think of just to get these Dr. Wu figures, because Metroplex goes with these guys. And I also have the Titans Return Triptychon, too. So you could probably imagine the battle scene that I could make just with those two and these Dr. Wu bots. So folks, there it is. Let's go ahead and switch over now and take a look at those alt modes. There we go. So folks, let's go ahead. Transform these two up. Take a look at those alt modes. So folks, here's the Dr. Wu Big Surge and Monitor Officer on the turntable in their alt modes. Now folks, I really, really like these guys in their alt modes too. I have to admit that Big Surge's transformation is the easiest thing you will ever come across. Fold the legs over, lock them together, put his arms at his sides, tab those in, and you're pretty much done. Now, Monitor Officer's transformation is a little more involved. It's not as simple, but it is fairly easy. So, there's that to look forward to. But folks, there they are. That is just, I definitely like those alt modes. And I'm going to tell you, just as an aside, when I got the Intelligence Officer version, the Sound Blaster version of Soundwave, I put his alt mode, the tape deck, in the hands of my FT-10 Phoenix. And he holds it, and it looks like it's perfect size for him to be listening to music. So, folks, that is it for the Dr. Wu Monitor Officer and Big Surge. Let's go ahead, and I'll do my thrills, chills, and shills, and then we'll get on with that final verdict. So folks, that is it for the Dr. Wu DW-E02 Big Surge and the DW-E03 Intelligence Officer. 
Folks, if you like this video, don't forget to like it. Share it out to your friends. Subscribe to the channel. I'm doing crazy crap like this every chance I get. Folks, don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know. I'm seriously interested in what you think of these figures. What would you do with them? Do you want them? Do you not want them? Are they too big, too small? Just let me know what you think. Folks, don't forget to check out the description. Take a look at all the wonderful Magnus merch. Get yourself a t-shirt. Let me know you care. And folks, I will see you next time. Has the Imperial Magistrate reached a verdict? I have. Find these figures and more at the Show Z store. Links in the description.